And we got a casserole. Let's go, baby. Victory. What's up, noobs? I'm Greener. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Okay, so since Valentina gives the card, you get negative three power. I was thinking, obviously, you want to run Luke Cage, but uh, we want some extra bonuses from running Luke Cage and not just use him for Valentina. So we're running some hazmat shenanigans and uh, we're running a toxic hammer Valentina deck. So the idea is you want to get a benefit from Luke Cage, but also get benefit out of hazmat. So we have an on reveal package in this to go along with the whole uh, whatevers. Let's get into the deck really quick. So we're running Nebula in here. Each turn your opponent doesn't play a card here, plus two power. So it's just great for funneling your enemy's cards into a lane. And if not, she gets super big. We're running Quinjet, ongoing cards that didn't start in your deck, cost one less. Um, we're running a few cards that generate cards, but honestly, I didn't draw Quinjet ever. So it could be good. I'd have to play more games to find out. <laughs> like I said, we are running Hazmat on reveal, afflict all other cards with negative one power. So ideally you want to play this late game. Um, I like to play it on turn five, right? Play Hazmat, Luke Cage on turn five, follow it up with an Odin on turn six. So we're running Mirage in here. Copy the lowest cost card in your opponent's hand into your hand. Give it plus two power. I didn't get a whole lot of use out of Mirage, but it's still just, you know, getting extra stuff. And if you have Quinjet down, it becomes cheaper. We're running Cable on reveal draw card from your opponent's deck. This can steal like vital cards from your opponent, which is pretty cool. And like I said, if you have Quinjet down, it becomes cheaper. We're running Valentina on reveal at a random six cost card to your hand. Give it negative two cost and negative three power. So um, with this and Quinjet and Luke Cage, um, you should get a pretty substantial six drop. Although Valentina can whiff like we talked about in the last video. We're running Mobius and Mobius ongoing. Your cards can't be increased. Your opponent's cards can't be reduced. Like I said, when you get a card that has energy cheat, uh, Mobius is gonna be strong. And a lot of people are running Quinjet Loki stuff right now. So Mobius is pretty good. Like I said, we are running Luke Cage ongoing. Your cards can't have their power reduced. Uh, we already talked about them, pretty self-explanatory. We're running Thor on reveal shuffle Mjolnir into your deck. Mjolnir Mjolnir gives Thor plus six power. So this is a great play to play on three, and then you can follow it up with an, uh, some hammers and Odin on turn six. We're also running Beta Ray Bill. I love this card. Uh, criminally underplayed, I think. On reveal, shuffle Stormbreaker into your deck, and Stormbreaker double Beta Ray Bill's power. So if you get both hammers, you can play that with Odin on the final turn. To ensure the hammer draw, we're running Jane Foster. She recently got buffed back up to a nine. On reveal, draw all cards that cost zero from your deck. So this is uh, going to give you your hammers. And then of course, we have Odin on reveal. Activate the on reveal abilities from your other cards here. So you want to have space in a lane to have hazmat there, plus space for two hammers and Odin, right? I mean, it's not always going to go down that way especially with locations that give you like squirrels or whatever, but that's the ideal situation. Um, but yeah, Odin a hazmat, Odin some hammers, and you just get a surge of power. So that's pretty much the deck. By the way, if you're new here, why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy, huh? Hey, it's just a click for you. It means the world to me. All right, let's get into the games. Okay, so they got my Odin. We go uh, Nebula here. And I we hit him with Valentina. That is unfortunate. But I think we skipped turn three since we have Infinite here. They magic for us. Okay, that's cool. So we play uh, Infinite in the armor lane, obviously. Um, 
I mean, I could play Jane Foster. She doesn't really do much. Would I rather just go Mobius Cable, you know? Cable over here. We can go Red Hulk into Cyclops, maybe. I mean, if we play this here. And then play a couple over here. This contests all three lanes, but is it enough, you know? Maybe we go with the uh, the one drops here and hazmat Luke Cage over here. All right, let's see it. And we got a casserole. Let's go, baby. Victory. It's funny. I have Quinjet in this list, and I haven't seen it once um, in my opening hand. <laughs> okay, let's go, Valentina. Oh, come on, dude. That's not cool. And we go Nakia here, maybe, to buff up the whole hand. Where do we think, do we think they're going to play, watch my call it this turn, Ghost Rider? Oh, they have Pryo anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, maybe we just go Beta Ray Bill then. And we Hazmat Luke Cage. I mean, we did get Stormbreaker, but is that enough? We just go like this? Maybe they can't play to Morag. So even if this isn't enough, we win here. the casserole baby let's go Victory. okay let's go quinjet and we play nebula Well, that's not great. Uh, I think we just play Thor here. Do we play Thor here or do we want to play him somewhere else? I don't have Beta Ray Bill in hand, so we play Thor here.
Um, we just got Mobius here. I do have Luke Cage. Maybe we play uh, Jane Foster for now. And we go a hazmat Luke Cage. And then we can Odin Mjolnir. Okay, so uh, Mutant <laughs> Mjolnir Odin is probably our best bet here. And I gotta hope they don't have their own Luke Cage. To me. Are ye worthy? To me. I mean, I don't see how that was winning when I have Luke Cage down. But I'll take a third casserole, sure. Okay, let's go Nebula over here since they're probably going to want to play for Baxter building. And we can go Mirage here. So they have a Cosmo. Do we think they play Cosmo here? Because if so, this Thor is not going to be great. Asteroid M takes Thor anyway. They have Pryo. All right, I'm going to risk it and play Thor. Okay, not a good risk to take, I guess. Um, I guess we can go Beta Ray Bill. He gets swooped, but we at least we get the uh, the Stormbreaker here. They might also have Luke Cage. So this hazmat Luke Cage play might not be great. But I still think we go for it. That's pretty funny. Um, I mean, just in case they don't have Luke Cage, we just go Odin here. Really hope we win these. Is it better to play for mid? I don't know. I don't like they have to win everywhere now, right? I still think this is the best bet. But we still get a casserole. All they had was Luke Cage. Let's go. Bro, what are... Like, these locations today are driving me nuts. I've got nothing but terrible locations all day. I guess we play into Vibranium so we can play them onto Death's Domain.
And we get Savage Land. Great. Well, they have Doc Ock. Maybe they have some clog stuff. So we just play Thor here. Um, I just might toss away Mirage, hit him with Hazmat, and hope we get Luke Cage. I mean, Jane's my best play here, I guess. And then we can Odin mid. I don't get double Thor. Is it worth debuffing my stuff though? Cause they, they just have a uh, Nihilist though, right? If I go Mjolnir Odin, does this win? Yeah, whatever. Let's see it. wins us the game way to go enemy <laughs> okay let's go quinjet here um toss down a valentina I guess if the car pulls any of these, it's not terrible. Hopefully it pulls Thor though. Okay, Luke Cage is fine. This hell is pretty useless. <sighs> okay. Well, I wanted to play Thor here. I don't want to clog this up just in case. So let's go Thor mid, I guess. Face the might of Asgard. Mjolnir. And we can go Cable Mirage. I mean, Cable on Bar Sinister could have been funny to just like remove their whole deck, but <laughs> it's not a winning play. We did get the Jane Foster though. So I could go um, Thor, Jane Foster here. Mockingbird. Well, that's not great. Well, I, what I have to do is I have to play Odin for the stats and play Mjolnir over here to get the biggest Thor ever. <laughs> and they retreat instead? I'll take it. I 
Okay, we have a Quinjet. Let's play it out. And now we need Mobius. <laughs> Go with Valentina. A cheap Odin's pretty good for me. We go cable here. This big house is causing me some issues. <laughs> is that my hazmat or is that their hazmat? It didn't show up here, so I'm assuming it's mine. Uh, go beta ray bill here. I can play the cheap Odin over here though, right? This one. And we go Jane Foster. Jane Foster's big though, so this is Shang Chi will now. So I just have to hope they don't have Shang Chi. So we can go Stormbreaker Odin. And then just toss out a Thor over here in case they don't play for Rickety Bridge. Are ye worthy? Face the might of Asgard. Are you serious, bro? After all that, and I had the win, you're gonna Galactus a rickety bridge? Okay, man. And this is when we uninstall the game. So while playing this deck, we went eight and seven, but sadly, it's only a 50% win rate because we got zero cubes. <laughs> um, but hey, that's still eight and seven, still technically a positive win rate. So I, I made a deck that has a positive win rate, okay? There are a few things in this deck that feel a little clunky. Um, maybe Mirage can be subbed out for like a stronger two drop. Cable was just kind of okay. I really only have Mirage and Cable in here for the Quinjet, but honestly, I barely ever drew Quinjet in my opening hand. And it was like really getting on my nerves. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun with this deck. I think there's potential. I think it needs a couple of tweaks here and there. But yeah, try the deck out for yourself. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. If you like this video, why don't you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And anyway, GG.